So let's use our newly acquired knowledge to make another 3D reconstruction with other same images and make another analysis. I'm going to make a roughness analysis and to do so I will pick these images. And I'm going to repeat the same actions as before. I'm going to go a bit faster since you know the principle now. So I'm going to follow the same steps as before. So I'm going to click on stereoscopic reconstruction and adjust the settings. I'm going to put the 45 image in first position and the 52 in second position. And I'm going to define the scale as before. And this time it's one micron. I know that the tilt angle is seven degrees this time since 52 minus 45 is seven. The direction of the tilt is the same as the example of last time. So I'm keeping a north south one. I will not ignore any flat area since I'm dealing with very texturized images in this case. I will take quick draft to see the results before and again I'm going to suggest the size for the windows. I'm keeping the same post-processing options as before. I always want to remove my outliers and I like to smooth a bit the surface. I'm calculating the results and here are the results that I get. It's pretty close to what I'm expecting and I can see that I have almost no any uncalculated area which is what I'm aiming for. I will click on OK and I have my new surface plus image studyable generated just like before. This time we are going to make a roughness analysis. As you may already be aware of, to analyze roughness you need to make some pre-processing operations. First, you need to flatten your surface and you also need to separate waviness from roughness using a cutoff value. So to do so, the good news is that in mountains, you can have all these options in our parameters table. In order to extract the parameters table, click on the obtain surface, go to studies and use the parameters table. By double-clicking on it, you can adjust the things that you want to display and the pre-processing options. So I will double-click on it and the following dialog box will appear. We are going to focus on our roughness surface, so I'm just going to select it here. And we are going to be interested in the ISO 25178 standards, which are the common standards for surface roughness analysis. Afterwards, you can select the parameters which spark your interest. In our case, it's going to be SZ, SZ and SQ. You can also notice that we have plenty of other analysis that you may analyze with mountains. Then I'm going to apply my pre-processing operation. It's a leveling operation using the least square plane method. I'm not applying any micro roughness filter in our case. And then I'm going to just choose my cuts of value in order to separate roughness from waviness. In short, everything that is below this cut of value is going to be considered as roughness. And everything that is above this cut of value is going to be considered as waviness. In my case, I'm going to put a 0.8 micron roughness, but this amount will mainly rely on your application itself. Then I'm going to click OK because I'm quite happy with the settings of my parameters table. This dialog box may appear as a bit complex at first, but remember that it has been designed for people working in the surface metrology field. Therefore, once that you will have adjusted the settings uh, according to your applications, you shouldn't have to come back to this dialog box again unless you have to pick other parameters. 
I can I know that this parameters table is has been generated to analyze the roughness of this surface. But here on this surface, we don't see any modification. If you want to see the, the studyable on which this uh, analyze is applied, you can click on show studyable here. Then we can see the roughness of the surface that, ha that has been separated and the analyze, analysis sorry, of this surface just next to it. I'm going to jump a bit to free space to show it better.